Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am excited. Can't you tell by the sound of my voice? That's because we going over the ultimate broccoli lovers cheddar cheese soup, y'all. I mean, it turned out phenomenal. And this is something you can make at home, y'all. Now, let's get going. We got mushrooms and butter in the pan, y'all. That's soup pot. Then we're going to drop some bell peppers and some onions to make bell pepper, mushroom, and onions in there, y'all. With that butter, we're going to saute that up all that up together and then we're gonna throw some skin in the game some chicken skin y'all i mean that adds flavor i had the chicken skin from another dish that i was making this day so i took that chicken skin incorporated it inside there because it's gonna add flavor y'all we're gonna let it saute up take a look at it y'all it's in there but let's work it y'all let's get it going and then we're gonna see how that chicken skin turns out inside there it adds flavor it adds natural fats in there too as well so what we're going to do, we're going to throw a little bit more butter in there too. Now we're using real butter. We're not using none of that off-brand stuff that's really vegetable oil. Butter actually is healthy for you. It's healthy for your ligaments, your joints, your cartilage, and all of that good stuff if used in moderation, y'all. And that was about maybe a quarter of butter, quarter of the stick of butter. And you know what I was saying, y'all. So we're going to get all that going, saute that up in the soup pot y'all let's take a look at that skin we done threw up in the game y'all let's see how we're turning out oh yeah that's what we want we want the skin looking just like that y'all just think about it all that flavor is in there all that flavor to savor take a look at that for yourself y'all next up that is chicken base we're gonna throw some chicken base in there y'all get the chicken base whisked in good you see all that that was at the bottom all that browning that's not burnt that's brown. And so what I did was lower the temperature and let the temperature stay low for about five minutes. And then I whisk all that up and it adds flavor into the dish because it's not burnt. You see how it comes right on off of there, y'all. That is a chef's trick. That's something we do in the restaurants all the time to add flavor. Then we threw cornstarch in there, y'all. And we add our heavy cream, too, at this point in time. So we're going to whisk in that cornstarch, heavy cream, get it going, pouring more heavy cream in, whisking it up. Now we're going to add some milk into it too. Add whatever seasons, flavor agents you want, y'all. If you want to know what's inside this, drop a comment and I'll tell you. Because it's no big deal. Everybody's palate is different and you know what you like. Now we're going to phase in some water, y'all. We're going to phase the water in. You see it's at a rolling boil, and that's when we start to phase that water in to thin it out a little bit because it's going to thicken right back up. And even as I'm pouring that water in, it's still at a small boil. We're going to add that broccoli in, not chopped, but whole, because the broccoli will do what on its own? break down so we're gonna go ahead and get that back up to a simmer get that back up to a rolling boil let that thicken up we're gonna add in cheddar cheese y'all instead of using shredded cheddar i use sliced yeah that's right i use sliced i threw a little bit of parmesan cheese in there too just a sprinkle sprinkle that sea salt I'm adding in, and more flavor agents, y'all. I know I threw some tony saturates in there onion powder garlic powder take a look at that y'all y'all see what that look like you see the bell peppers you see all the holiday colors in there too y'all happy holiday season even though it ain't holiday season quite yet we on the verge of it y'all there we go broccoli cheddar soup the ultimate broccoli cheddar cheese soup the ultimate now this is how we test it y'all to see if it's thick enough is it going to run or is it going to stay? You see how it stays. The top side did not run down. Now we know this is thick enough to be served. Take a look at that, y'all. Now you be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. And if you feel like there's something I missed, let us know so we can add it to the playlist. I'm trying to see y'all in the up next section. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next side.